She just wants to be beautiful. Hi beauties, beautiful Jay here. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys how to repair your hair and to get it from damaged to healthy. Let me tell y'all, my hair was not always healthy. I did not know the proper steps to take when it came to making sure your hair stayed healthy. Nobody in my family had natural hair, so I really couldn't go to anybody to ask them what can I do to make sure my hair was naturally healthy. My curls were, as you can see here, like really damaged my hair. When I was in middle school, like the entire time I was in middle school, sixth to eighth grade, my hair was completely done. I flat out my hair a lot because I just wanted my hair to be straight all the time. And I did not take the steps that I needed to take to make sure my hair was healthy. So my hair got really damaged. So I had to learn different ways to repair my hair and to get my hair nice and healthy. So I have nine things that I say are the top most important things to do when it comes to trying to get your hair healthy and to transition from that damaged stage to that nice, healthy, defined, natural stage is to moisturize your hair daily. I cannot stress enough how important it is to moisturize your hair. When I say I did not used to moisturize my hair really at all, like I would do it every now and then, but honestly I really wasn't big on moisturizing my hair and that's why my hair was very dry and it felt rough a lot of the time. I noticed once I started moisturizing my hair more often, and what I mean by moisturizing, you can get a spray bottle with water and just mix that bottle up with like conditioner, some coconut oil, some tea tree oil, whatever oils work good for your hair. Just mix it in that bottle, shake it up, and just spray it on your hair in the morning and just like you know, rake it through and stuff like that. Just give your hair that moisture. You don't even really have to rake it through. Just spread on your hair so you can add that moisture to your hair for the day. Another thing I would say to do is to deep condition your hair. Let me say that again. You need to deep condition your hair. When I say when I started deep conditioning my hair, hair started changing drastically and sit in my hair for like 30 minutes. I would even go an hour sometimes if I want that extra moisture in my hair. And also make different deep treatments. Right now I am using the Curls Blueberry Bliss deep treatment mask on my hair. And I really love it. It does give my hair that extra moisture. And it also, their line, their Blueberry Bliss line is actually good for repairing your hair. And it also helps with hair growth. So I really, really like that. Stay away from the heat. Let me say that again. Stay away from the heat. I literally cut the heat from my hair. Like I can't even tell you when the last time I had my hair straight because I do not like to put that heat on my hair because it damaged my hair so bad before. Like my curls were so stringy because my hair was so used to being pressed all the time that when I would wet it, it didn't even know how to go back to its natural state. The heat really ruins your curl pattern and it's very hard for your hair to go back from, to its natural state when you damaged it. So you literally have to like cut the heat from your hair regimen. And honestly, if I do straighten my hair, I will probably do it like maybe once or twice a year. If that, like if that, but definitely stay away from the heat. Definitely, definitely, definitely stay away from the heat because it's not good for your hair. If you're trying to transition to having naturally healthy hair. Another thing I would do is use oils. After you put whatever style you use on your hair, make sure you use an oil to seal it in. You need to top your hair with the oil every time. Whatever oil is good for you, use it. I personally use castor oil because I love castor oil because it's really, really good with helping my hair be with shine and it also helps with hair growth. I'm very big on hair growth. I'm trying to get my hair to grow even longer, but um, seal your hair with some type of oil, whether it be tea tree oil, vitamin E oil, castor oil, 
coconut oil, whatever oil you like, use that to seal in that um, moisture. Another thing, scalp massage. Literally, massage your scalp. You're massaging your hair, you're stimulating your hair follicles to grow. So I would say add, what I do is add Jamaican castor oil, once again, that's my favorite oil. Add that and just on your fingertips and just rub it in your hair. Rub, massage your scalp for like one minute. Like, if you wanna do longer, whatever. But whatever length you do, it will be good for your hair either way. But I do it for one minute and it also is relaxing. And I definitely see that that also helps my hair to grow. Get rid of the dyes and the bleach. All those harsh chemicals, you want to get rid of those things. What it does is damage your hair structure. Once you're damaging your hair structure, it's very hard for your hair to grow healthy and strong. It weakens your hair. So you want to make sure you're not using all those harsh chemicals on your hair. Make sure you trim your hair. If you are one of those that is trying to get rid of the damaged parts of your hair, make sure you stay on top of trimming your hair. With a healthy hair regimen, your hair is going to become more healthier so keep your hair trimmed a lot of people are scared to cut their hair like oh my gosh I don't want to cut it because you know I don't want it to stop my growth or I they're just scared to cut their hair for whatever reason but honestly you want to make sure you keep your hair trimmed you want to make sure if you if your ends are bad and you have like really really bad ends and split ends and damaged ends all of that's going to do is just keep growing and damaging the rest of your hair it's going to stop the growth of your hair it's going to break your hair it's not worth it cut those dead ends stay on top of a healthy hair treatment and your hair will grow do not eat healthy if you eat healthy the insides of your body have to be good so that the outside of your body can show that's for skin that is for hair it, it's no way around it eat healthy drink lots of water and your hair will have that extra sh that shine it will grow healthy and it will look healthy as well once you start eating healthy and um drinking lots of water last thing i would do is co-wash some people don't co-wash some people would just shampoo and then condition you honestly I'm not one of those that will tell you, uh uh, no shampoo. If you have a sulfate free shampoo, it's not that big of a deal. But co washes are really good um, with helping with sealing in that moisture. And um, if you aren't one of those people that are big on co washes, try to use sulfate free shampoo and always, 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 always follow up with a conditioner. I'm really big on leave in conditioners because of the simple fact like I love to have some type of conditioner in my hair and moisture um, in my hair at all times because I don't want my hair to get dry and damaged. Last thing I would like to say is honestly be patient. I hear a lot of times, oh my gosh, my hair just seems like it's not growing. It's taking forever for it to grow. Be patient. Do not rush your hair process. Your hair is going to grow. You can think that you're just gonna grow waist length hair in a month patient some people hair grow faster than others but be patient with your hair stay on top of your regimen and it will come like it will honestly come and some people don't realize they're looking at the length that their hair is and like oh my gosh it's not it's not dropping it's not that long but one thing you need to know is when your hair is growing as a natural it grows outward first and then it drops i hope that this video helped you guys a lot i definitely want to hear your try these different techniques out see let me know if they work for you and let me know how do you feel about your hair after doing this for a month like you you should see some change within a month with sticking to a consistent consistent hair hair regimen you can't just do this every once in the blue moon but if you're being consistent with your hair regimen you will see 
you will get good results. That's the end of this video and I thank you guys so much for watching and as always like comment and subscribe you can hit the subscribe button down below make sure you turn on the post notifications so that you can be alert when I post new videos and I will see you guys next Friday bye a baby 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 spinning in his wedges like he came from me take I go with on the brown like when I get like this I can't be around